Sweden joined NATO, and this completely ruins Russia's plans in the West. You see, the Baltic Sea was basically a Russian lake until the collapse of the Soviet Union. But as Poland, the Baltic states and Norway quickly joined NATO, this left Russia with an isolated naval base in Kaliningrad and a narrow access point in St. Petersburg. Russia's solution to this was to militarize Kaliningrad. But Russia's invasion of Ukraine changed everything. Sweden and Finland started to consider Russia a real threat and determined them to join NATO. While Finland would stop the Russians in the east, the Swedes would deal with the Russians in the Baltic Sea, where they have the biggest possible asset. The island of Gotland is basically located in the middle of the Baltic Sea. This would help NATO to easily cut the link between Kaliningrad and St. Petersburg. But most importantly, in the event that Russia invades the Baltic countries, NATO would be able to reinforce the Baltics from this island, rather than trying to pile troops through the Suwaki Gap. With Sweden and NATO, Russia's plans to further expand to the west were turned upside down.